does God's kingdom come to us? Well, it's funny. I, I grew up, sorry, the glasses have come off. I'm really serious now. I grew up in, in the South. I remember I grew up in a Woodstock, Georgia, and all my friends were uh, Southern Baptists or Pentecostals or basically churches that say you have to make a decision for Jesus. And it always conflicted with me because I'm like, these are my friends. They read the same Bible I do. Why is it they're saying I have to go to Jesus, but then in the Lord's Prayer, we pray thy kingdom come. Well, who's doing the work? Well, remember what Jesus says. He says, you did not choose me. I chose you. Jesus is always the one doing the action. It's not us going to him. We don't enter into his kingdom. We don't knock on the door and try to figure out a way in. His kingdom comes to us. And his kingdom has come to us three times in history, in time and space. The first is when Christ came in the flesh, when the Son of God, conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, came, lived, suffered, died, rose, ascended. That is the kingdom of God coming in that time for you and for me. Now the kingdom of God comes to us whenever Jesus comes and is among us. When is he among us? When his gospel is purely preached and the sacraments are administered according to it. He's among us there. The coming of the kingdom of God here and now in time. And on the last day, his kingdom will come again to claim us, to take us under the new creation, the new heavens and the new earth. So we focus on the day, today, and that day. The day that Jesus died for us, today as we receive his gifts, and that day when we will finally be called home under the eternal kingdom where there's nothing but bliss forever and ever. God bless y'all. See you next time.